a sample for my dematophyte testing or for ringworm testing. We're going to take a spot from this lesion back here. So I'm going to use alcohol, wet down the area, make sure it's clean of any surface debris before I take a sample from that area. So taking my sample, what I want is a little bit of the hair. So I've got forceps from the cold tray, sterile, but I'm going to pull a little bit of the hair out just from the peripheral edge of the lesion. And then I'm also going to try and scrape and get some of the skin scales into it also. So I'm going to put it straight into my uh, ringworm test medium, my DTM. So I put in my DTM. So then I'm just kind of gently scraping with the tip of my forcep. And I'm getting some of the skin. Alright, now I'll push that into my DTM also. So now my DTM medium is just going to incubate at room temperature. I'm going to leave the cap on but loose. I'm not going to put it on tight. And it can incubate. Um, for up to 7 to 10 days. I'm going to check it every day for growth and at the first sign then we'll be able to put it on a microscope and examine it from there. So I have right here our dermatophyte testing medium or our DTM. It's been incubating now for several days um, as are required according to the manufacturer's directions for this medium. So we can go ahead and look at our results now. Um, it's, it's just been incubating room temperature. So when we're looking at this agar, we can see the sample that we put in there, but there has been no bacterial or um, any kind of growth in this culture. So that indicates that this is a negative for a dermatophyte. Te for dermatophyte. Uh, if it were to be a positive test, it would be fairly obvious appearing on the medium. Um, since this has been incubating for several days, we haven't confirmed that it is not a dermatophyte or the ringworm. <coughs> So what we'd be looking for on the, on the test, this is what it would look like in our culture if it were a positive. It's a little harder to see in the black and white, but this is our blood agar and it would appear almost mold-like on our culture if it were to be positive for the ringworm. So if it were positive, what we would do is to take a sample of, a sample of the culture and put it on a microscope slide and look at it microscopically. So under the microscope, this is what our dermatophyte is going to look like. So you can see on these, they are oval shaped, um, almost segmented appearance microscopically. So these are what we would be seeing if we were to look at that sample of the culture that were positive underneath the microscope. Clinically, what it's going to look like on the patient, um, again, a little harder to see in black and white, but it's going to be skin lesions, often on the face and nose area, but can present anywhere on the body. Uh, what gives them their characteristic name of ringworm is their usually round in shape when they're appearing on the hair coat. It's going to cause hair loss on the lesion and red irritated area that the dog is going to be itching at and painful in. But as our dramatic DTM test, DTM test showed us, our patient was negative for the ringworm test. So we can go ahead and look at other alternatives and that's doing our dermatophyte test. <laughs>